summary Paul and Corrine's relationship was filled with violence and turmoil. Their issues led to them losing custody of their children. Paul accused Corrine of infidelity and got a paternity test for one of their sons, which they made public. They profited from posting the test results online. While Corrine's now taking steps to rebuild her life, Paul seems to be retreating. He may be deeply hurt by their failed relationship. 90 Day Fiancé features some troubled cast members, but few seem as destroyed as Paul Stale, whose turbulent relationship with Corrine Martins made all of his problems worse. While drama in the franchise lights up screens, with Paul and Corrine, some scenes were actually disturbing. They were never on the same page. Together, they're disastrous. Separately, they're still problematic. Now that their relationship's over, Paul has to pick up the pieces. So much damage has been done. Paul recently went missing in Brazil, and luckily, he was found. That incident raised eyebrows, mostly because Paul's such an erratic person. Some fans wondered if his disappearance was a publicity stunt. He's done sketchy things in the past that called his judgment into question. Corrine's actions after he went missing were weird. She posted about life insurance, coming off like a wannabe black widow. This couple share two children and their defects of character have led them astray. Unfortunately, their kids are paying the price. It's definitely for the best that Paul and Corrine aren't together anymore, but what happened to the Stale family is sad. Related 20 best reality TV shows right now television is being impacted by the ongoing entertainment industry strikes, leaving many turning to reality TV. What are the best shows right now? When Corrine got violent with Paul, the couple lost custody would things be different if Corrine Martins had controlled her temper. Close when Paul and Corrine fought on video, she was shown getting physical with her mate. This heated argument had long-term consequences. Because there was violence, they lost custody of their two sons, Ethan and Pierre Stale. Now, Corrine's trying to rebuild her life. She's making changes that may allow her to get her boys back. Corrine got a night job at UPS. She's earning over 20 bucks an hour and seems to like her job. Paul's not getting it together the same way. It seems like it's harder for him to function in society. She always seemed like the stronger one. Corrine's a tough cookie. Paul would probably have benefited from having a softer, more nurturing partner. He's an anxious person who's gotten into trouble in the past. He found it very difficult to provide for his family due to a criminal record. It was hard for him to get hired because had been convicted of second-degree arson. Paul burned personal property in order to scam an insurance company. His criminal records his responsibility, but Corrine didn't help him to grow as a person. She seemed to trigger him. Once, on screen, he ran off after she fought with him. He didn't seem to know where he was going or what he was doing. Paul doesn't handle stress very well, and Corrine brought plenty of stress to his life. Did Corrine Martins cheat on Paul Stale? Paul Stale accused Corrine Martins of infidelity close Paul goes out of his way to make Corrine seem like someone who dates a lot of guys. In the past, he suspected that his Brazilian partner was betraying him. In fact, he went so far as to get a paternity test for one of his sons. Ethan Stale 
He doubted that the child was his, and actually went on to post the paternity test results at OnlyFans. What was so crass about the whole thing was the fact that Paul and Corrine profited from making the test public. That was Paul and Corrine's mistake as she let it happen. With regard to his doubts about her fidelity, maybe Corrine gave him good cause to worry. She never seemed to love him. In 2021, Corrine was accused of cheating on Paul with a criminal. Corrine leaned into her villain persona by allegedly dating a man who may have made terrorist threats. His rap sheet was reportedly long. The guy's name was Jason. In another troubling incident, Paul rambled about an assassination plot against him which involved a man who provided translation services. Paul really thought the man planned to kill him, and that mail was linked with Corrine. Paul seems paranoid at times. It's unlikely the translator wanted to murder Paul, however, nothing's impossible. That being said, the alleged plot was never proven to be real. Since Paul was so concerned about Corrine's faithfulness, and also thought she was entangled with someone who wanted to end his life, she clearly wasn't giving him much peace or joy. Now that he's single, he may resent Corrine for posting sexy shots on Instagram. Even though she's trying to get her two sons back, she keeps adding provocative posts. She's turned off her comments. Is she trying to get a rise out of Paul? Corrine once asked her followers if they wanted to watch her and Paul have sex on screen. She's a bit of a wild card as Corrine didn't even seem to be joking. She and Paul never went through with that, but Corrine seems like a sexually bold person. Sometimes, that really bothered Paul. He may have felt that Corrine was just using him to get on TV. He didn't have any money, so she really wasn't a typical franchise gold digger. Nonetheless, she could have had other motives for staying with him, such as clout chasing. Paul Stale's lying low online is Paul Stale giving up on public life? Now, Corrine's really coming out of her shell on Instagram, but Paul seems to be shrinking into the shadows. He's retreating while she's fighting. He wants his kids back too, but she seems to be doing more practical things to make that happen. Paul may need time to heal. He kept trying to make things work with Corrine, and Paul may secretly be heartbroken. If he didn't care, he wouldn't have gotten so jealous. 90 Day Fiancé star Paul isn't a happy person. Maybe in the future hell find ways to enjoy life more. He might benefit from therapy since he's been through a lot. Paul's lived in poverty. He had a partner he couldn't trust. He lost his children. Those are great losses that will psychologically scar a human being. Kareem wasn't the rock that Paul needed. She hurt him and Paul may never be the same. 90 Day Fiancé on 90 Day Fiancé and spin-offs, some turbulent relationships are featured on screen. Paul and Corrine Stale split up, as did Colt Johnson and Larissa Lima. Other troubled couples that didn't go the distance include Daniele Gates and Johan Geronimo and Asuelu Palaa and Kalani Fagata.